All right. Hello, beautiful people. Neil Ta here, back to you again after such a long time for another sound demo. So, before I start talking, yapping, this is the sound demo for a beautiful, wonderful grand concert guitar uh, by Ozamu Sakamoto, number 50. So, here are some demo for this wonderful guitar, Ozamu Sakamoto, number 50. Okay, ta da! That was the intro. <laughs> Okay, so what's changed? Uh, not much, but a lot actually. Um, I promised you in the last episode that I would be able to do more videos for you and all that, but it didn't happen because again, once more, I had an accident with my uh, unicycle, riding my unicycle. So I sprained my two middle fingers here and it's still sore after four weeks, so I can't bend them, see? This is the this much you can bend. So this middle finger there has re regained rigidity, um, flexibility, so I can bend a bit, but this one I can't hardly touch it. So, so looks like today I'll be playing with three fingers for you. And if this one hurts, then two fingers. The one thing with me getting finger sprain is that not only these fingers have been uh, affected, but these two fingers, which were um, okay, now suffer from fatigue because I hold everything with two fingers like this. <laughs> Especially my, my index there is, is getting sore from doing so much work. Anyway, so today there's some demo um, is about this one guitar and please again as I keep repeating do not do not judge on my playing okay but on the sound of the guitar especially today when I can't play properly when I have to do with three fingers only. Um, why is this important? Okay, um, to tell you, classical guitarists have, we are, we are Martians, we're not human beings, we're not from Earth. So uh, we only have, on the left hand, four fingers. Okay, the thumb is not counted, so we start counting fingers from here. One, two, three, four. Yeah, one, two, three, four. Not like pianists who start counting from here, so we are Martians in a way, we have only four fingers. Although some Martians have three fingers. And on the right hand, we use mainly classical guitarists four fingers, but flamenco we use five fingers. Okay, and it's split into this order. So the thumb normally plays the bass, generally speaking. Okay, then two middle fingers play the accompaniment, the harmony, and the ring finger, the anulare, italiano, plays the melody. So today I cannot play the melody for you because this so I can't move it. So I'll be playing the melody on this finger here, yeah, and this one will do accompaniment, and this one will do bass. So, so the, the being three, the time is gonna be mainly three four timing. It's supposed to four time four four. So, again, excuse the playing, but again, please judge the video on this beautiful guitar by Osamu Sakamoto. Now, Sakamoto. It's not very popular, not very well known, but a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful uh, He's uh, He makes very small number of guitars in Japan, and those people who know about him try to collect his guitar and hold on to them. Oops, again, I had <laughs> comments about my jewelry, so I shouldn't wear them when I do reviews. I said I got rid of my rings already. Um, okay, so he makes uh, very few guitars um, a year and he makes sure he makes the best out of it. So this is Osamu Sakamoto, number 50, which originally, this is, I think, about 1972, 1972, uh, was 50,000 yen, which is a lot of money back then, you know, like 10 months, 11 months wage, minimum wage. Um, so, he um, he's a one-man band, one-man company, one-man operation, and in order to sell as many guitars he could, although he could not make enough guitars to sell, he made them under four labels. Okay, initially we thought it was three, but actually four labels. The first one was under his own name, Ozama, um, Ozamu, no, <laughs> Ozamu Sakamoto, and most of his Ozamu Sakamoto guitars are made of cedar top. Okay, I will tell you what cedar sounds that compared to spruce later then he did another 
line of crank cost guitar and he called them angel okay and the label inside i'm not sure yeah you can see it yeah it's a uh, trapezo rumbles um shape and for the angel guitar he would have the writing or golden writing beautiful writing but same shape same everything and the angel guitars like the one i have um the 402 uh, and the 602 are beautiful grand cost guitars and they're made out of spruce with spruce top then the other brand he would or label he would make guitars under it was the artemis or artemis and that, those are also prevalent and mainly see the top guitars now the fourth label he made was for a man a luther from uh, southern california in america his name was jose oribe okay it was very popular and his guitars retail for over ten thousand us dollars now jose couldn't make enough guitars to sell because if whatever his reason is so he could be commissioned sakamoto to make the exact same guitar he, he would make it yeah uh, and uh, and then he would put uh, jose would put his own label on the guitar and sometimes you get um, two stickers on those guitars one by sakamoto and one by um, jose oribe now oribe would sell sakamoto's guitar at half of the price of his guitars which is still a lot of money <laughs> five thousand US dollars yeah um which you know it's, it's a good deal for both of them because osama sakamoto would get work and uh and uh, and uh, jose wouldn't have to work build the same guitar he would spend time building yeah? and again uh we always sold out anyway so good for both of them okay so this guitar is a wonderful great cost guitar the difference between this great cost guitar and other this series or other uh, brand is that this one here it's the sum is round and it's complex yeah it's not loud that it's spruce top the blasting out but it's it's more intimate it was quite um it's mainly due to the due to the um see the top as well so the see the top tend to be more intimate warmer the spruce tend to be louder and out there in the open. Uh, oh, you, could, you could say the spruce top, spruce top guitars, are like extrovert guitars. Well, the city guitars are like introvert guitars. And when would you use one over the other? The spruce top projects more, it's got a lot of volume, it's got more bright, more height, and you use those in a bigger setting in front of a big crowd okay although nowadays we have microphones which amplify any sound even a whisper but let's say you have no microphone okay and you have a big crowd you use you use the spruce version of the guitar if you have a smaller setting with fewer people or late in the evening at night and all that and you only have to play to yourself or a couple of people and you choose the cedar the cedar is more quiet it's got better note separation it means you can hear individual notes and it's clearer okay so this is the main difference between spruce and cedar okay so let's go to the guitar already you can hear the basses are very deep Thank you. 
nice and clear. You can hear each note. It's not muffled. So if you put the bass with the mid. See how it's all well balanced. And it's the beauty of a good guitar. Now, nowadays, it was, I was mentioning, because of microphone and amplification technologies, you don't need, ha need to have a loud guitar like in the old days. So the C is perfect. Okay. Now, the, the, the high tones. See how it rings? Oh, the overtones, listen again. I hope you can hear it using the iPhone to record. Um, some people ask me, oh, I have suggested, why don't you use better equipment? And some people say, look, I have video experience, I have company, I have blah, 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 blah. Uh, I can show you what to do to get a better sound. I told them, thank you for the offer, but no, I'd rather just use the simple, a standard iPhone. In this case, I just upgraded my iPhone to iPhone 13 so that people get an idea, the real sense of how it sounds like. Okay? Uh, I'm not embellishing the sound, no reverb, no sound effect, nothing at all. Just raw. What you see is what you get. What you hear is what you get and that's the beauty okay so the trebles yeah middle bass again bass Sorry, I can't play the multi part because um, you notice I only play one finger at the time because my fingers are sore, but I'm strumming. Okay, you hear it? The basses. You know? So you can hear every note. It's all well balanced. Yeah, so this is the beauty of this beautiful Sakamoto guitar. Okay, I'm gonna play some chords. Simple, simple. Ah, one thing. I had a few comments and people said, Neil, we love your videos. And they said, thank you very much. And what we love the most, it's the way you do the sound demo. You don't play anything complicated, sophisticated. You just play simple chords, something we ourselves can play. You play at our level. <laughs> I said, okay, thank you very much. So I'm going to play simple chords, stuff that everybody play, can play, so you get an idea of the sound. So we are here doing a sound demo okay so we are trying to listen to the quality the characteristic the beauty of the sound okay here we go so ouch my finger i have to skip the finger so three finger then son.
few notes because um, those notes usually are taken up by my ring finger but I can't use it so I skip it <laughs> Sustain, it's a wonderful sustain. And so on, okay. Um, um treble sound throw up here. Sometimes you'll be able to find this on Reverb or those second-hand websites. They go for about 5,000 US dollars, so if you're worth the money. Here we go. Uh, what I do normally do, I do harmonics, yeah? I uh, do um, different tonality or variety of tone. And then, then we'll see, see how we go. Okay, so this is harmonics on the 12th. Beautiful. <laughs> so you could get warm harmonics and bright harmonics so again there's a warm harmonics if there's such thing and bright harmonics warm Right. Can you hear the difference? Um, get a better headphones if you don't have one, and I'm gonna do it again. So warm and bright. Oh, again, warm and bright. Yeah, twelve. Um, the easiest one. Next one will be seven. Beautiful. Yeah. Then we've got the fifth. Be over. Yeah, and the difficult ones. Fourth. Third. Oh. Again. And second. Oh. Yeah. And then the ones that are not luckily used the the um, 16th. Let me just reach, reach down here. Again. Yeah. And uh, the 19th. Oops, excuse me. Again. So one for the um, harmonics done, we're gonna do the um, the sound variety. So starting from the bridge here on the bass. Buttons. 
once again and up here on the first string of sound of tone as you move the hand up and down so excuse me it hurts okay so warm here something in the middle up on the bridge here. And once more. Best I can do for you. My fingers hurting. Um, Second mode, number 50, Grand Consecuta. Uh, I forgot the specification. <laughs> Center specification, 65 centimeter from the saddle to the nut. Um, now, this is something interesting. Here, the nut normally, other copy would just glue the nut to the um, fingerboard. Here, he managed to put a piece of ebony here to reinforce it so that we don't need to glue the nut to the fingerboard but the nut can be replaced as you mentioned in previous video i think i do i have i normally make two or three nuts and two or three saddles depending on the strings i use the strings gauge so if you use had a string gauge, I would have lower saddle and nut. If I have uh, softer, lighter, where the string oscillates, vibrates more, wobbles more, then have to raise the action a bit so it doesn't buzz. So we have the higher saddle and higher nut. So we, professional guitarists, uh, we have replaced this quite often. So we need this to be movable, and that's the reason why. There's a, an extra nut here to reinforce it, so you need to glue it. Top is made of beautiful high quality cedar. Back and sides are Indian rosewood. Um, the neck is mahogany with, as I told you many times before, a reinforcement here. This one here, let me see if my eyes don't deceive me. Is rosewood, very dark rosewood, looks like ebony. This one here. And the function of this um, strip of rosewood here, being hard, is to stop the neck from bending over time. Okay, so it doesn't curve. Um, fingerboard, beautiful, beautiful dark rosewood. Yeah, now 
being 50 years old, it's got some hairline scratch which you can't see, right? But it's there, it's got some sign of, of, of having lived uh, a life. Um, uh, typical having born in Belgium from the late 60s, early 70s, yeah, which follow stops here and then it's got the, um, the typical late 70s embellishments there. Uh, what else can I tell you? Yeah, it's like uh, I've been talking to um, several people and, and, and uh, talking about how would you describe sound. Sound is one of the most difficult things to describe it. Okay. Anyway, last week uh, a gentleman came here to buy a guitar by the name of Rob. Hi Rob, if you're seeing me this video, hello. Rob, um, play both guitars. This and the angel guitar and many others, especially this um, the, the, the Matsuoka number one, number one, it's very rare, and number 100. And uh, he also tried this Saka, uh, Sakamoto here and the angel for O2. And, um, and uh, he, uh, he, he was describing his guitar as being a, um, a vintage wine, a good quality, a fine wine, which is a complex sound. <laughs> Beautiful sound. So between this and the angel, which is the same maker, he chose the spruce version of the same guitar, which is slightly brighter. So there's no such thing as good and bad. When you get to this level of guitars, it's a matter of taste. When you're talking about a hundred dollar guitar, two hundred dollar guitar, up to maybe a thousand dollar guitar, then you can talk about quality, this is good, this is bad. But when you get to this level, no, past three thousand dollars to $15,000, it's no longer a matter of quality, but a matter of taste, okay? Which one you prefer? Um, in fact, Rob was here for, I think four hours or so. <laughs> this is what uh, my, almost my clients do when you come here, because they are picking every single nuance with that hour train, listening to what calls are best, what's the response best to them uh, like as if looking for a soulmate and I usually say look you don't choose the guitar the guitar chooses you so there's been many many instances when things happen and then um, and then it happens that a person just gets a guitar for some specific reason like is it the guitar makes the choice to go to a person that person than the other person yeah uh, uh, for example, last uh, couple of weeks ago, we had um, a gentleman from England. Now he was looking for a guitar, and he um, he found this guitar and he messaged me. He said, "I want to buy a guitar." The guitar. I said, "No, hang on. The guitar is not for sale. It's my personal guitar. I wouldn't sell it." And sadly, I forgot. I um, advertised it on eBay and other website, and then I removed them. And then I, uh, the listing, okay? And I happened to for, have forgotten to take it off eBay. And uh, this gentleman was from England too. So, and he was looking for a guitar in his area. Um, so he f saw a guitar in St. Albans. But the St. Albans was looking for is, um, he thought it was uh, St. Albans in England, not St. Albans in Australia. So he said, look, there's no way, it's too far. So I asked him, come over. I said, no, it's too far, no way I can come. And would you guess what? It just happened that a few weeks later, his daughter decided to get married. Here, right here, in my town, in Australia. So he flew all the way over here for the wedding of his daughter, and he got a guitar. So that's what I'm saying. Sometimes the guitar chooses you, you don't choose the guitar. So, and normally what happens is that I tell people to go with their first impression. Get a guitar play, get a guitar play, and whatever your gut feeling is about a guitar, that's the right one. So even if you spend five, six hours, you always go back to the first one you try, or the one you coached for the first time. Yeah. Anyway, that's the second motor number 50. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have, give me a thumb, give us a thumb. If you're here for the first time, consider subscribing and ring the bell so you get notifications. And uh, any request, any comment, right below in the comment section and uh, let's see um, if 
you got time stick around i'm gonna do another video about this one here this particular guitar this one okay Ta -da. this one here is a special unique guitar it's from the 70s it's not a classic guitar it's not a folk guitar but it's got a classical pop okay and the interesting part of it is a mix between classical and acoustic guitar okay um so it's got a classical guitar with steel half steel half steel half nylon strings but the beautiful thing about it too is that it's got built-in sounds uh effects again listen So stick around, I'm going to do a demo of this. See you in the next video. Cheers.